Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Tap Titans 2 Part 335. Hope everyone is having an absolutely fantastic day. Today is the end tournament update video. I'm going to do a recap, show you guys where we got to. Well, you guys can already see our new max stage of 88,300. And 27. So in yesterday's video, I did get it a little mixed up. I did say that we were close to the guy that was in first place. I didn't realize that my max stage was 87,900, not 88,900. So already yesterday, when I recorded that video, the guy was already 1,100 stages ahead of my max stage as soon as I joined. So honestly, right off the bat, we were a little doing a little rough. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to start off today with a prestige, still getting another skill point there, plus 32 raid XP. Always nice to go ahead and get some of that. Honestly, that's the another good way to go ahead and increase your raid level is by obviously pushing and, you know, gaining stages. You do get a little bit of raid XP. It's not a lot compared to, you know, raid attacks and stuff like that, but it, it definitely does help a little bit for sure. So let's go ahead and start this off here. Daily reward. Uh, day nine is going to be some equipment pieces. We can go ahead and collect that. Uh, oh, five commons. Unfortunately, that's okay, though. It's okay. Uh, if we go here, we're going to switch back to melee and continue to push here or get back to our max stage. If we go ahead and lay into Book of Shadows here, uh, I did actually end up doing all of the artifacts. So if we take a look here, um, we don't have any of them. Or th sorry, enchantments. The new enchantments, there was three new enchantments that came out with the recent update. And that was... Um, let me see it here. The Great Fey Medallion. So this was fairy gold. It was the sculpture one, and it was also this coin one. So the only one that actually benefits me is fairy gold. Um, as a shadow clone fairy build, I don't ever upgrade Heart of Midas or multi-spawn gold. So still something that's really going to benefit me. You know, fairy gold was a very, very good artifact. Um, I honestly noticed lots of times when I would go ahead and spend a decent amount of my relics on it. I definitely did notice uh, getting a lot of excuse me a lot of gold from the fairies you know that's such a good way to help push um is you know we were waiting for a fairy to drop a bunch of gold so you can do some level ups and it's a very very good way uh to go and kind of get past where you were stuck previously i do want to take a look here quickly that uh raid is the attack oh Okay, it reset. Never mind. So, okay, so we're all on our own. It, I didn't realize it reset. So, we're going to go ahead and do our victory march. This is kill cycle. So, we're going to go ahead and do all the damage here that we possibly can. Kill cycle is just absolutely the best. So, we're going to go ahead and do both victory march. We're going to do totem. Honestly, I mean, it's probably going to be dead by the time we do both of those. I would like to not do any more attacks to kind of help bring up my average damage because I think it is slacking. Um, yesterday's video, I think we went over the buffs and debuffs of this uh, raid. And there was minus affliction stacks, which really hurts Thriving Plague. I normally do like a 2.3 or two, no, 2. Point, uh, it's like 2.3 or 2.5 million damage Thriving Plague. I hit a 1.8 the other day. Um, just because the affliction stack so we're not even gonna waste our time re-rolling we're just gonna submit um and we're gonna share because like i said this is kill cycle it's gonna go extremely quick here we just lost 40 million hp in the span of what 30 seconds there so this is gonna be a really really quick kill cycle um i unfortunately missed the head there was a little bit of health left on the head but i didn't get the notification or i didn't see that uh it actually reset so that was a little bit um that was my bad for sure but we are also going to go ahead and do our totem here. Some people are still calling, but look at how many people have done it so far on the reset. Absolutely insane. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do our totem hit now. There's no point in calling out or anything like that because, I mean, everyone's going to do their damage. Look, so, down to 53 million HP. I bet you when we're done this attack, it's going to be completely over. Hopefully, this totem hit submits. I probably should have started off with my totem, to be honest with you, because I need this damage to boost my average right now. Because if I can hit like a 4 mil, I mean, I'm not going to spend the time re rolling it obviously but if i can hit like a four mil totem hit right here this is definitely gonna boost my average damage by what i need i need it to go up a decent amount here so this could be extremely helpful if we can get a little lucky hopefully it just isn't destroyed by the time i click submit otherwise this attack will not count i'm gonna be kind of upset uh, but almost a four mil we're gonna go and submit and share hopefully the titan isn't destroyed okay perfect okay there's six million damage left um so pretty darn close so we're only gonna get a couple of those attacks in unfortunately but if we go and take 66.11 divided by 22 putting our average just above a 3 million average absolutely phenomenal so this raid is going to be concluded here very very quickly there we go congratulations the battle has been won as you guys can see we have some very very hard hitters in this raid 
um, eternity being one of them absolutely crazy average raid damage if we go and go 213.72 divided by 20 hits he averages 10.68 million damage per hit in this raid absolutely insane just crazy amount of damage there and if we scroll down there's honestly not a lot of people that do less than 100 million damage in you know 20 or 24 attacks so I'm feeling pretty good about that. You know, we did decent, decently well here. The raid rewards will be coming out soon with dust, hero scrolls, fortune scrolls, cards, and raid XP. Perfect timing, to be honest with you, because I do want to go ahead and spend some, uh, some dust here on a reset. But, or the day did reset, so I want to go and spend some dust. But let's go ahead and talk about the tournament. So, as I mentioned in yesterday's, or just at the beginning of today's video, this guy was way ahead of me. I did not stand a chance. Like I said, he was about 11 to 1200 stages above my max. As soon as I joined, I was already put at a massive disadvantage. I lost three hours and he was already 1100 stages in. Crazy. Good, good on him. You know, this guy followed up really, really well. Um, I think this guy actually was first. I could be wrong, but I think this guy was first and this guy passed him uh, maybe last second. But we ended up getting fifth place rewards here as you can see i kind of took you know I, I looked at it and i was like okay i want to do some pushing in this tournament but i don't want to go crazy i know i didn't have enough time to go and do this um as usual something came up and i didn't get a ton of time to play it but we still got you know a decent amount done we went from eighty-seven thousand nine hundred to eighty-eight thousand three hundred. so we pushed about 400 stages or so here and the next closest thing so to go from fifth to fourth would have been another 400 stages and i just didn't have that potential in me to be honest with you but it would have been really easy to go for you know fourth and third we're really really close together but then again that would have been another 300 stages to get to there and then you know it just would have been a lot uh, I, I find that this is where i you know this was a good spot you know i got to my max stage past one guy pushed 400 stages or so he was actually a little bit less than this but he did end up pushing kind of last second when he saw that i was going for it and i was pushing as well so maybe could have got a little bit better rewards if you know this guy wouldn't have pushed last second but it's okay so i'm not going to go ahead and claim the tournament rewards here because obviously the new event does start this tuesday so when you guys are watching this tomorrow the new event starts and i'm really looking forward to it uh but we did pull 350 diamonds which is not very good at all 80 tournament points 60 crafting shards and seven eggs we're gonna go and leave that alone for right now but uh we are gonna have enough crafting shards now to go ahead actually we are going to be three crafting shards short of crafting another core piece. That is going to be horrible because I really want to do well in this upcoming hero weapon tourney. Hero weapons are absolutely amazing. Um, so I definitely want to go and do good and craft another equipment piece. It would be awesome if we can go and do that next tournament. So hopefully we can get, you know, a couple crafting shards somewhere. Um, if the, Oh, if the tournament... Yeah. When the tournament starts, the event will start. So hopefully we can get enough uh, Firestones to actually go ahead and craft a, or, you know, re receive a crafting shard reward from the event. That's kind of the only thing that I'm really relying on, kind of banking on, is, you know, us getting enough Firestones right off the bat to go ahead and craft another piece of that set. But we only need three of them, so it shouldn't be too difficult. I have decided to halt buying pets from the shop. I spent way too way too many diamonds in the past couple days. Just the other day, we were at 11,000 diamonds. So we're at 9,000 now. You know, I bought the an anniversary platinum set and I've been buying so many pet levels recently. So we got to slow down on this. You know, our pet levels are doing really well. Nova and Bubbles. Bubbles sitting at 344. Nova at 333. So doing very well in terms of pet levels. But we got to slow down. 8,000 or 5,464 pet levels. I'm good with that for now. Until the dust promo leaves and is over i'm gonna go ahead and keep saving our diamonds here uh video chest we can go ahead and collect here if this gives us crafting shards our issue is solved but it only gives us five diamonds okay that's not exactly what i wanted but i guess we can take it uh if we take a look hopefully they have sent out the rewards not yet so i did start on uh, solar raids but i haven't yet got to the end of it um i wanted to focus mainly on the tournament today and still ended up running fifth place but before i started um the stream today you know I, was, I think it was in last place i think it was in eighth place so definitely glad i prioritized the tournament a little bit there i think it was worth it in the long run if we take a look here i want to see oh it didn't even pop up yet it should say uh, congratulations please prizes will be rewarded oh to participants in an hour oh darn it okay i thought it was in a couple minutes that is really unfortunate but if we take a look at the dust shop literally really nothing good i mean we're at 300 dust right now we're pretty broke the only thing i would buy is purifying blast but i mean 
really that's not even that great it's 24 purifying blasts i'm okay with missing this shop reset that's totally okay with me but in terms of daily achievements we need to go in book of shadows i'm um, sorry completely went on a tangent there but book of shadows city at 39 percent doing one max prestige 65 percent so gotta get that up a little bit more before the next tournament starts get it up to you know the 80s percent or mid 70s I, I would be okay with as well but uh right now we're doing okay in terms of book of shadows uh we did actually claim all of my pet quests i don't know why but they didn't reset unfortunately i guess that's okay uh but i, th I thought they were gonna reset but daily achievements we just need one more pet level that's why i was gonna claim our pet quest hoping to get one more pet level level but unfortunately it looks like it's gonna be we're waiting for pet levels again i could buy something from the shop but really it's not worth it like i said we need to go and save our diamonds for the dust promo you know this is the best way to go and increase your average raid damage is by getting the dust promo you're getting 3,000 dust for every 4,800 diamonds i know 4,800 diamonds is a lot uh you know it does take a while to get there but 3,000 dust goes so far. I'm not going to lie. So I am looking forward to the dust promo. I really am. Um, if they go ahead and, <clears throat> you know, I may end up spending a little bit of money on the game. When the dust promo does come out, maybe buying, you know, like a bundle. I, I mean, I'm not spending $70, but like a bundle that gives me diamonds in return may be a good idea as well. But at the same time, it's probably not the best. I mean, we're getting 10,000 dust from here, which is crazy, to be honest with you. That is a lot. Uh, but this is the 80,000 milestone bundle. So maybe if there's one that specifically gets me diamonds or something like that. Because typically, I mean, it isn't a great deal to go ahead and buy these. But I mean, if you're looking to only get diamonds to go ahead and purchase the Titan chests, this may be your best and only option. Because, I mean, if you take a look at this, I mean, spending $70 on 6.5 thousand dust is obviously not good when you can spend $70 thousand or $70 on 6.5 thousand never mind I mean I'm I'm didn't even think about that but you're getting you're paying for these diamonds and you're getting all of this for free okay this is a really good deal never mind I take back what I said uh yeah so typically these are not worth it when you can go and spend you know the same amount of money and get all of this stuff uh for free which is awesome so definitely not worth doing the diamond or buying the nor diamonds normally so if you are i'm hoping that a bundle may become in shop that i can go and get some more diamonds for or maybe some dust with that'd be phenomenal and go and increase our average raid damage so i think we're probably going to prioritize for right now buying as many cards as i possibly can leading up maybe not just yet but leading up to the dust promo i want to go and buy as many cards as possible so then when that dust promo hits i can go and buy some titan chests and do a bunch of card upgrades rather than you know doing one or two upgrades and then just waiting for you know the shops to reset so i think we're going to focus on buying purifying glass totem and victory march for the next little while probably starting when as soon as the you know dust promo starts we'll probably start doing that and saving uh all of our dust for buying cards rather than up upgrading them but we'll see when that when the time comes but guys with that being said i'm gonna have to go and end today's video here if you guys have enjoyed another tap titans 2 video be sure to go and smash like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace